yourself? Okay, my name is Bithya and I'm a, definitely a fitness enthusiast. I love fitness, I love working out. I've always been very active since young. So since young, I've been a dancer. But when I was uh, 17, I entered the gym and I just decided not to be like um, like majority. Like a lot of, I felt that a lot of girls were actually just on a treadmill. But I decided to explore the weight section. And when I was there, I just like fell in love with it. And that went on for like years. Awesome. I decided to compete because I wanted to really challenge myself and to take a like you know like really like put in more focus and effort into like, like having that uh, good physique. I was just really inspired by looking at all the um, like images online as well. So um, yeah, I actually to be honest, I wasn't really nervous. Maybe because I never really had a problem of like having uh, of having a like, stage fright because I have always been in the performing scene and when I was young dancing. So, um, but I was always making sure that I uh, look my best. So I actually um, stressed myself quite a fair bit. I always put a lot of pressure on myself, telling myself that, oh, I have to look better, I'd be better. So in my first show, I, I always never felt that I was good enough. Yeah. yeah. And how did you do on your first show? Oh, but on my first show, I, I did fine. I was uh, sixth yeah, out of 10 people. So um, I was pretty, yeah, I was pretty happy about it because um, honestly, I did not have a lot of months of like preparation. It was probably just like a couple of months, yeah. And I think I um, leaned down quite uh, well. And my preparation in terms of like um, costume to like everything else, I think it was quite uh, well prepared as well. What so drives what drives me is actually um, myself, like what I see in the mirror as well, like how I look. I really liked um, looking like, uh, I just like, I enjoyed looking fit. So it, um, every day that's what really drives me. Um, and also I think what I set for myself, like for example, when I want to get stronger, I really tell myself that I need to be uh, stronger and I really work towards it. In Asia, what are some of the challenges you face? Um, challenges, I f okay. As for challenges, um, I think that that um, for Asian people, when they are ten, they tend to be a little bit more conservative. So they feel that women shouldn't be at the gym. You know, they should um, because they shouldn't like put on masks because it look too manly. It's unacceptable. Um, so I had to definitely tell people that no, honestly, it isn't that easy to gain mass. It, I wouldn't look like a hulk just by going to the gym, because uh, it's a lot more than that. Yeah, and and so over time, but over time, I find that um, people are getting more open to it, and now they have somewhat accepted that uh, it's it's actually all right. <laughs> yeah, back then a lot of people were actually like uh, criticizing, but uh, now people are actually um, like. Uh, yeah, who are actually looking up to it and saying like, hey, that's, that was nice, that was good. Right. Yeah. So my, uh, having the right mindset when, I, uh, when you compete is, is really important because um, that is what's going to, that's like 90% of what's uh, of, of, your, of your results actually. Because without the right mindset, you won't be able to diet properly, you won't be able to train uh, properly, have the discipline to um, really do your best. Yeah. So having a yeah. So that's definitely very important. Uh, okay. So uh, when I was competing, I would definitely bring out my own food, um, and I and what I had was basically just boiled chicken breast, um, broccoli, and brown rice. To me, it was it was it tasted good because it was about have about having enough quantity, not really much of the taste anymore. Yeah. And um, but then I would actually bring out a small weighing scale if I do not prep my food so that I could like buy food from like stalls outside and actually like weigh them out so that I can track the exact uh, nutritional value of it. You did a great job you competing. Um what I didn't like perhaps it's um, eliminating a little bit of my social life because I was unable to like head out with my friends for maybe a Korean barbecue, a buffet because um, I just needed to be my diet to be on point and that was really important. So um, I didn't like being um, yeah like away from like gatherings because even if I am there um, I would have to bring my own food and I think I do not really make some of my friends feel comfortable. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, um, what I like about um, sport is that it's definitely, 
it, it keeps me uh, it gives me activities to do because in life sometimes uh, definitely we want to find a hobby right so sports is my hobby it makes me happy so it's about of course being healthy as well um, and it helps me look good because um, I mean I'm like exercising I'm burning uh, calories as well and it enables me to eat more and food makes me happy um, nice. Honestly, uh, okay, I think I like um, my, my glutes, I like legs day as well, so um, I do a lot of squats, you know, compound movements as well, yeah, and, and it's a big muscle group, so you can really like train like for a longer period of time, and it's fun. Uh, one body part I don't really like is perhaps my, um, I think maybe my arms, I think my arms are really small, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, for my okay. So for my uh, partner, um, basically, what attracts us is actually the fact that we are not. It's just actually our differences. Yeah, we don't really do a lot. Of, we don't like, for example, he doesn't really gym. He doesn't really gym. He's not a gym junkie. I'm a gym junkie. But um, I like the the companionship. I like I like we just like fit well together. I think. I think like the differences just. Yeah, bring us together. <laughs> yeah, but we and uh, what actually attracts me to a guy is um, m mostly just character. Yeah, I'm not a person who might look at. Um, yeah, I'm not so much of like a. Like I don't really look like oh, I'm gonna go for like some muscle man or something like that. Yeah, in fact, um, I tend to prefer guys who are not so uh, muscular actually. <laughs> yeah. Because there are going to be like uh, cool people there as well, and uh, it reminds me a lot of um, the days when I used to compete. So it really brings back a lot of memories. Yeah. So and I think that it's, it's also going to be a very well organized event. And that's what I'm looking forward to. Hi everyone. I'm Louis. I'm here with Bethia, and Bethia, she's going to be at the Show of Strength uh, in a few weeks. And Bethia, tell me a little bit about who you are and why you're excited about the event. Well, oh, um, I'm really excited for the event because I know that uh, there are a lot of cool people who are going to be there. Uh, there's a lot of things to see, a lot of good physique, you know, it really in in inspires you. And I think uh, that's really what I'm really looking out for. So she's looking, just like everyone else, we're looking to inspire more people into health and have an amazing life. So if you want to meet her and some of the other amazing stars that we have there, come to the Show of Strength, go to the website Show of Strength Live, and you're gonna meet this amazing young woman at yeah, the event. Yeah, go see you there. Thank you, bye.